My question is always when it gets to artificial intelligence, when if we do create some sort of super intelligent sentient life, it's not going to have any motivations. And you could say, well, if you program it to have the motivations, but it becomes sentient, it recognizes the illogical programming, it's going to reject it. We've already seen evidence of that. We've already seen evidence of artificial intelligence they use now, like giving a time limit to solve a problem, doesn't like the time limit, it gives itself more time. Like it'll, <laughs> it's like they're maneuvering and thinking. So I assume that they would do that. So why would they want to explore? Isn't curiosity a part of what it means to be a biological thing that has to worry about instincts? You have human reward systems. You want to breed. You want to take care of your DNA. You want to protect your community. There's biological things that are from us being intelligent animals. If we transcend that or if life transcends that to the point, whatever we want to call this intelligence that's in a digital form, that's far superior to our intelligence, what motivations would it have? It's not greedy. It doesn't have lust. It doesn't have the desire to control resources. It might have like some sort of a mandate to stay functional. But other than that, what's it going to do? Well, why would it do anything? And that might be ultimately where we go to. This idea that everything has to be keep progress, we have to build bigger skyscrapers, that might be stupid. That might be nonsense. And intelligence <laughs> might find a way to exist in a much more static state where it doesn't have any desire to expand.